Celebrities are on view to the world through the mass media. Pictures and videos of them can be seen in magazines, on the TV and on the internet. But is the image which has been constructed of these celebrities true? Or is it just a hyper reality? The image which is on view to everyone is edited, it's been airbrushed so the imperfections magically disappear. The image constructed is the ideal image of the celebrity. It's not just women who have to be objects of desire. In the celebrity world, males and females need to be objects of desire. Male celebrities are seen as objects of desire for female gays. This encourages the male celebrity to enhance their looks to impress the female audience. Males tend to spend more time taking care of their appearance. Most male celebrities are metrosexuals as they pay attention to their personal appearance. It's become more acceptable in our culture for men to care about their appearance. From the young to the old, all celebrities now have to live up to the expectations of being an object of desire. For a percentage of the older celebrities, they undergo cosmetic surgery procedures to keep them looking younger and more desirable. This creates a hyper reality, as the celebrities may look younger, but they're still the same age and the body still ages. But this increases the celebrities' self-esteem as they are looking younger for their age and it helps them reach self-actualization. Men highlight their muscles with tattoos. The tattoos most commonly used are tribal tattoos. In our postmodern culture, tribal tattoos have lost their original meanings and representations. Originally, tribal tattoos signified what tribe you belong to and your place in the hierarchy. Currently, stretching has become a part of popular culture and a current trend. Ear stretching is a modification practiced by and originating from indigenous people. Tribes in various countries in Africa, Asia, Native America and other indigenous lands have practiced the ritual of stretching for cultural, religious and traditional purposes. This is now part of a subcultural identity, emo, punk, rock look although Mary Douglas argued that body modification by means such as tattooing, piercing and painting is a metaphor for the social body. Through bodily endowment and modification, the individual enlarges the impression of his or her personality and expresses cultural solidarity. Kat Von D is known for being on Miami and LA Inc. Being a woman and having tattoos isn't valued in our culture as it's seen as more of a male practice. It's more of a masculine tradition. But in our postmodern society, it's become acceptable for women to have tattoos, especially when there's beauty pageants helm which depict beautiful tattooed women. Tattoos are now seen as a form of art for the body. Breast modification has become a popular procedure in the celebrity world. Some have it done subtly, others have it done to the extreme. It's like a must have for most female celebrities. Women are expected to have a curvaceous figure. Being flat chested as a woman gives a more manly physique, which isn't desirable in our culture. The hourglass is seen as the ideal body shape for women. It refers to an attractive woman in many cultures. This is because women are expected to have a curvy body shape. Many Western women place a great deal of importance on their physical appearance, especially the shape of their body. Western media, especially advertising, emphasise a woman's body shape, mainly her breasts. 
less than women see an average of 400 advertising messages a day about their body image. In addition to the black body ideal of large breasts, thin waist and round buttocks presented in videos, many of the black women featured depict a westernized beauty ideal of lighter skin, long hair, blue or green eyes. Racist and sexist thinking informs the way of colour caste hierarchies affect black females. Western beauty has impacted the world, but is it the ideal? Blonde hair, blue eyes, pale white skin. Is this the ideal look? Celebrities from other ethnic backgrounds try to become more western in the way they look. When searching for beauty magazines, there was a higher percentage of western beauty on show compared to other ethnic backgrounds. Beyonce is one celebrity who has conformed to this look. Beyonce has natural Afro-Caribbean hair. Even as a child she's had her hair modified by straightening it. Beyonce generally wears a weave which symbolises western hair. Beyonce has a golden glow. This is where dark skinned people change the way they look. For example, change their hair from black to light browns, blondes, wearing bronze in makeup and things like this to lighten their skin appearance. Yeah, I have a hair weave on my head. You yeah. have to understand, we're the same. I'm, yeah. not, I'm no different than you. This is not my natural hair. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. This is fake. Yeah. And I understand and take full responsibility and know that this is because everybody in America and everybody in the world doesn't think that my natural hair is beautiful. I'm not sure if I can sit here and, 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 and actually my whole career, 14, 15 years of being a model, could have actually done that with my natural hair. And they say, oh, Tyra's a sexy Victoria's Secret. That just wouldn't happen. Right. And I know that. And yeah. I'm not a white woman. I'm still black, but I have a hair weave. And this is one step closer to what a Caucasian woman's hair is.